Kiri, Kirim, Quirim. Three different names. But for me, all of them mean relaxation. I discovered Kerry sometime in 2006, thanks to a beautiful article written in Outlook Traveler. And I've come here at least 10 times in the last 12 years. Life is really a throwback to the 80s and 90s here. That's probably what makes me keep coming back. Time seems to go very slowly. And the slower it is, you end up connecting with the place and feeling like you're part of this place. The Kerry village is at the edge of Goa's northern coast and it shares the border with Maharashtra. You can cross the border through a little bridge where one side is Maharashtra and the other side is Goa or take a very moody ferry across the Terekhol river. I call it moody because there's no guarantee that the ferry actually takes off. Because if let's say there is some wind and there's some tide swelling, the driver may decide that today should be a public holiday. Just like at a minute's notice or a whim's notice. So there's no guarantee that you can actually come into Kerry. That's what makes it tough. That's what makes it also so much more charming as to why you should give the place a go. The beach is, however, a couple of kilometers from the main village. And there are small roads leading to the, you know, leading to the village. And it greets you with a bevy of tall trees. They dot along the coastline. And they kind of, you know, look like they're chaperoning the waves that keep seducing travelers like me to behave like them in coming again and again and again. Let me take you into my world at Kerry and show you the slow life there. But before that, let me give you a bunch of 20 things you can do. These are 20 things that Nandu and I have you know, done this over the last 2-3 years going to Kerry. So this might give you some idea of what to expect in the next episodes of this Kerry blog. Number 1. Spend the day running into the way. <laughs> Number two, take a relaxed walk into the village and go and find out a little more about how beautiful the village is. Three, go and eat breakfast or lunch at a Konkan lunch home. Four, sleep at the beach as the sunset dramatically unfolds in front of you. Five, go for a relaxed morning walk where there's nobody on the beach. The beach beds are yet to come out and the whole coast is all yours. Number six, walk to the rocky beach through a little tunnel. Have you ever heard of going from one beach to another beach through a tunnel? Yes, such a beautiful place exists. Number seven, climb the hill with very scenic views to get and use the same path to go to the Sweetwater Lake Beach, which is equally more scenic. Number eight, chill at the Sweetwater Lake Beach. It's one of my favorite activities to do whenever I get to Kerry because this trek is about 30 minutes from Kerry and that place with all its greens is very relaxing. Number 9. Sit on a rock during sunset and watch how the beach changes colors. Number 10. Take the moody ferry to get into the Terekhol side and just walk across the village. Number 11. Walk to Tirakol Fort and catch the brilliant view of the Arabian Sea and also of the structure that makes the Terekhol Fort. Number 12, do some sand art on the beach or just play around with sand. Now, who wants to be clean on a beach? No one. Number 13, watch artists at sunset with their poi dancing. Number 14, attend the midnight mass if you happen to be there around Christmas time as it's a very, very colorful time to be in this part of Goa. Number 15, Chill at all of the hostels in the village and meet new and interesting people. Number 16. Watch paragliders fly into your zone and fill the afternoon sky with interesting zigzag patterns. Number 17. Chat with the locals and observe their homes 
as you walk past them. No one's going to say no if you're going to ask a glass of water or just going to, you know, make random conversations with them. 18. Get completely knocked out by the wave because it's a beautiful feeling. Nature controlling you and you just being completely submissive to what nature has to offer. Number 19. Get into a shack and relax watching the repeated action of the waves pummeling the coast. Number 20. Well, find new friends at the beach. Watch the complete series on my YouTube channel Kachu Travels and stay subscribed to watch similar videos. Till then, tada!